That's a good question. <laughs> but he uh, I really dislike it. I would no. obviously dislike somebody. You're exactly right, but that's the way our God is. Jesus said at the last supper he says, Take this and eat. Take and eat. This is my body. But it's not like any of this. It's it's his body as it exists in heaven now in glory. So it's uh, so it's not this exactly, it's his body now in heaven. But um he said to take an eat, this is my body, so yeah. yeah. I've heard that as other guys they don't really know why. I yeah. like the story and I don't know how they were able to talk about it. It was very so strange. They just played it and don't say why I love it the Lord. Lord. That's right. They would understand better later if they didn't understand that first at the last supper they didn't understand it much. So anyway, so are you ready? How many around? Have you received your first communion? No, but I know what it is. You you drink you drink um you put a cracker in a wine and or you drink the wine, the first wine. Um, and I, I thought you eat the cracker first and then drink the wine. I have my um next. Have you received I, your first communion? No, but I um I'm gonna receive it next month. Oh, oh right. where? Um, in Dallas. At the Catholic Church. Christ the King. He yes. and Johnny are best. Yes. One, some of his best friends are all here, they're and they're doing holy uh, faith, faith formation. formation. Which faith formation? Remember, remember, we went to um, your teacher was Mrs. Love. Who is Mrs. Mrs. Love was your faith formation teacher, CCD. Teacher. What is faith formation? Remember when you only got to go like one or two days on a Monday with OO with Owen at mm-hmm. uh, Christ the King? This is before we had to move here for treatment. We dropped you guys off at church. We dropped you off at church, remember? That was faith formation. Well, usually you make your first communion at church, but just because you're not feeling too well right now, we decided to come to you. <laughs> but it's not, it's not a cracker. Don't think of it as a cracker. It really is Jesus. So just say, I'm receiving Jesus, my Lord and my God. And this is something grand and glorious. I may, what grade are you in? I actually made my communion when I was in the first grade, but I used to do it in the first grade. Mm-hmm. Now we do it in the second grade. Amen. So that's what you're going to do today, and this is a really important thing. So God, God thinks you're a good person too. He loves you dearly, so He's going to come to you in Holy Communion. This is really the Lord God coming to you to say, Johnny, I want to fill you. I love you. I am with you. You never need be afraid. This is the most beautiful way Jesus comes to us in first in this communion. And then, of course, you can receive communion other times after your first communion, too. Why does it still when I bring this up to when I was like five years old trying to go up the stairs and didn't make it because it's too dark and I got scared of it? And I'm still afraid of something. Well, I'm afraid of what? Well, the communion. Because 
I don't like darkness either. Yeah. But just because you're afraid is not, you know, because your fear always takes you to God. You could say, I'm afraid, but this is where I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus, because you know I'm always afraid when it gets dark. So I need you. Just say the name of Jesus. But you were five then. You were little. You didn't know too much. Anybody five here? How old are you? Like five. Well, see, when you're five, you don't know very much. But you know more because you're eight. And so, one of, um, why did it get, why did it suddenly get You mean at night? I'm sorry. I don't cover the sun. Well, well, they're personal, too. They're all personal. Everybody's personal and loving. But personal doesn't mean just you and God one to one. It just means that He's very close to you. You have a lot of questions. Do you always ask a lot of questions? I see. Are you how? You're a smart guy. Are you a smart guy? I don't know. Yeah. Yes, and you also ask a lot of questions. All right. You are good and smart. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Okay, I don't have enough hosts, but I'll probably break them in half. Huh? Behold... Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to this supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Okay, John. you would come to live among us and even be our holy and sacred meal from heaven to give us nourishment and strength in our journey of life. So please bless all of us here in this room. Uh, take care of us. Protect us. Um, and especially bless uh, Johnny and his sickness and his mom and dad and all of us. <coughs> take care of us and uh, Give us your healing love. And just really quickly, Johnny, I'm also going to anoint you with this another sacrament. You get two sacraments today. The other one here is to, for healing. And I'm just going to do this real quickly. May the Lord be with you and fill you with his gentle love and healing mercy. this holy anointing. May the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. And may the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. It's just quiet. Okay. And uh, so dear Lord, we trust in you and we ask you to continue to be with Johnny and love him and bless him and give him your healing grace. May you be with him always. May God 
God bless you, Johnny, and all of us. And um, take good care of us. And that give us a good party today. Can you eat much? Are you hungry? So you can eat some of this food? I guess. <laughs> May God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us give a little uh, acknowledgement of the First Communion of Johnny Odega. Still taking pictures. I can only imagine. I can only imagine when all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine.